Hi guys, welcome back to General Rule 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're about for brand new benchmark. I can't believe it, to be honest with you. It's Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, and they somehow managed to get the textures and everything working for the Intel HD RUHD graphics. I'm blown away by this. Today we're running this on the Intel Core i3-10105 with the Intel UHD 630 integrated graphics. They're running with 32GB of DDR4 RAM in dual channel memory. And this is the patch hotfix 1.727, which now has all of the characters being fully rendered in. I am shocked that they've managed to achieve this. It said it was for AMD, but it fixed the Intel HD and, well, UHD problems at least. I will test the HD problem as well, just to be sure. But let's skip this cutscene. Before this cutscene, there was nothing here. It showed, like, there was no characters, nothing on screen. And Ratchet didn't even have his arms. Look, Ratchet has his arms. It works. Now, to be fair, the, the, the problem that it works now means that it's going to run even even worse, if I'm being honest with you. Okay, there's the Spider-Man glitches. There they are. But basically, yeah, this is what happens with their ports. This is how it goes for integrated graphics. It's not supposed to run on it, but I do want to show you guys, you know, in case. I, I did have some viewers asking, and I did tell them it wouldn't work. I, I'm pretty sure it was going to fail, but hey, look, they fixed it. I don't, it doesn't help us though, it only makes it worse now, it's going to perform worse, because everything is being rendered now, if you understand. We're using 17 gigabytes of RAM as well, like, it's, for integrated graphics, if 16 is not enough. Now this looks terrible, once again I'm running at 720p, ultra low, with the FSR ultra performance on. You just need to get down from up there though, and... Get the ones who get down from up here really things get a lot better. I'm blown away by this. You see what I mean? I feel like the performance is worse than last time. Which makes sense, like I said. We're using we're using more V RAM as well. I only used sixteen last time. Wow. I haven't seen these guys in ages. This is what happens when they fix things. For heroes. This is what happens when they fix stuff. It only gets worse, guys. Is this what you wanted? Is this really what you wanted? I mean, yes, I could get a bit better performance, but by lowering the, the, the resolution more, but it wouldn't matter. It, it just wouldn't at this point. It's consistently at 7 FPS, which is crazy. That's wild to me. It will get better once I hit down here, but I'm just really shocked that the patch fix actually fixed the integrated graphics. Which is nice, I suppose. Obviously, there are visual glitches, just like in Spider-Man, but at least the, the main all everything missing is gone. So I've gone up to 8 FPS. Will I even get 10? Yeah, it's performing worse. I, 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 honestly, looking at this, I am terrified to test it on the Intel HD 620. How many years will it take to get that running? Okay, frame rate's coming up now. This is better. Frame rate's coming up. At least we're in double digits now, which is where I expected frame rate to come back up here. This is not playable, guys. I, like, I, I don't know who would subject themselves to this, but you know. I mean, I can't even hold a proper 10 FPS. I guess if you lower the res, maybe. You did 960 by put it in borderless and then change your screen resolution to 960 by 540. Or maybe 640 by 480. You probably get a bit more frames out of it, but... Yeah. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. If you guys like seeing the latest and greatest tech tips, low-end PC benchmarks, and stuff like that on, you can check this out. I totally got, I got lost for words there for a sec. But yeah, I, I do stuff like this all the time. I try to run games, very low-end games on low-end hardware, extremely low-end hardware, that shouldn't be running on it. There is no low-end config for this. The patch fix literally just fixed all of the... The missing textures, which is awesome. Which is awesome. But like I said, because of that, because the textures are here now, 
the frame rate is even worse, which means I'm going to get less than, I'm actually going to get less than 5 FPS on the HD 620, it's going to be ridiculous. How bad you want to play Ratchet and Clank? Even he, I normally say that in these videos, but I don't, I don't even recommend it here, dude. This is just bad. Damn. Who did that to that guy? Give it up for our heroes. This is a disaster, dude. Hurry, we must get to the front of the parade route. This is what you guys wanted. You guys complained about textures. They fixed it all right. And now more pain. Wouldn't it be funny if I was running at 1080p the whole time thinking I was using 720? But that's just not the case, is it? It's, it just ain't the case. I thought, what are the chances? Maybe I am. And I'm just being silly right now. Once again, I do argue though that there's a lot of stuff going on here right now. This may actually be a more demanding than most of the other parts of the game, but... Transferring through portals is going to be ridiculously hard. You got to keep that in mind. That being said, it is running. If, if, any, if anything, it is running. And I'm using 17 gigabytes of RAM. So if you have 16, you're screwed and you have integrated graphics, you are in trouble. I doubt without this RAM, this is good. Without that RAM, it's probably going to stutter now too. With this look, this bit of frame rate. That's never a good sign. But it is nice that it runs. I'm not silly enough to not appreciate that. Anyway, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Seriously guys, if you guys enjoy seeing me test games on low-end hardware, show you guys what, how to get things running on low-end hardware, don't forget to hit the subscribe button guys, it really helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to blow this barrel up and then blow you up with it. There you go. Honestly, the popping it feels a little better than Spider-Man too. I'll see you guys next time, man. Keep it real. Keep it real.